Galatium, Galatians 3. O oh, foolish Galatium, who has bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth? Before whose eyes Yahusha HaMashiach has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I teach to you. Did ye receive the Ruach by the works of the Torah or by hearing of the belief? Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Ruach? Are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain? if it be yet in vain. He therefore that ministers to you the Ruach and works miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the Torah or by hearing to belief? Even as Avraham believed Yahweh and it was accounted to him for righteousness, know ye therefore that they which trust in belief, the same are the children of Avraham, and the scripture, foreseeing that Elohim would justify the heathen through belief, preached before the Besarah unto Eth Avraham, saying, In you shall all nations be blessed. So then, they which be of belief are blessed with believing Avraham. For those who rely on the Torah of works are under a curse, for they are written for the accursed. All who do not continue in all of the writings in the Sefer of the Torah to do them. But that no man is justified by the Torah in the sight of Yahweh, it is evident. For the just shall live by belief. And the Torah is not of belief, but the man that does them shall live in them. Mashiach has redeemed us from the curse of the Torah, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is every one that hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Avraham might come on the other nations through Yahusha HaMashiach, that we might receive the promise of the Ruach through belief. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, Though it be but a man's covenant, yet, if it be confirmed, no man disannuls or adds thereto. Now, to Avraham and his seed were the promises made. He says not, and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to your seed, which is Hamashiach. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of Yahweh in Hamashiach, the Torah, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of no effect. For if the inheritance is by the Torah, it is no more of promise. But Elohim gave it to Eth Avraham by promise. Why then the Torah? Grace was added because of the transgression that the seed should come to the promise through Elohim in the hands of a mediator. Now, a mediator is not of one, but Yahweh is one. Is the Torah then against the promises of Yahweh? Never, for if there had been a Torah given which could have given life, Truly, justification should have been by the Torah. But the scripture has concluded that all are under sin, that the promise by belief in Yahusha HaMashiach might be given to them that believe. But before belief came, we were guarded by the Torah in common subjection to the belief which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the Torah was our tutor to bring us unto Mashiach, that we might be justified by belief. But after that belief is come, we are no longer under tutors. For ye are all the children of Yahweh by belief in Yahusha HaMashiach.
or as many of you as have been immersed into Hamashiach have put on Hamashiach. There is neither Yahudi nor, nor Yavani. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Yahusha Hamashiach. And if ye belong to Hamashiach, rather, Mashiach, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs, according to the promise.